My name is Dr. Tom Diamond, and I'm a neurofeedback practitioner. And neurofeedback is a way to strengthen and balance the brain. Neurofeedback has been around since the 1950s, but only recently is it making its way into Canada. And I'm one of only 50 practitioners, certified practitioners across Canada, 15 in BC. Um, it's a very, very helpful tool to help many things related to the brain function, sleep, uh, memory, stress, anxiety, um, concussions, very, very helpful for concussions. Even for people who've had concussions decades ago, we can help them today with neurofeedback. Neurofeedback trains the brain. It strengthens and balances the brain. It even makes your brain grow. You get a thicker, bigger, smarter brain from neurofeedback, and the research backs this. So when you come for training, you see your brain's electricity mapped in colors across this image. And we actually train the brain through reward to either slow down if you want to get some sleep, reduce your stress, or speed up if you want to get uh, quicker. You want your memory to be sharper. You want your focus to be more on target. Um, it's very, very good for, for learning issues, for attention deficit disorder in kids, um, for, for memory and even uh, dementia prevention in uh, seniors. Uh, it's a very, very widely helpful methodology. So when somebody first comes in for neurofeedback, we do an assessment. We take a picture of the person's brain electricity, and we use this cap. It's called a brain cap, and it's got a number of sensors in it. You can see that there's a little bit of metal inside encased in plastic, and there's about 20 of these. And these read the electricity of the brain. There's no electricity in the cap. It's just taking the electricity from the brain. All these 20 points are reading the electricity from different parts of Isaac's brain. And from that electricity, we're going to be able to tell which parts of Isaac's brain we could exercise and strengthen uh, to get more performance out of Isaac's brain for whatever goals he has. You can see on the screen here, this is Isaac's actual brain electricity. We can see different colors lighting up in different parts of the head. This head is slowly rotating. The front of the head is rotating by now. And we're actually looking at the alpha wave as it's distributed over the entire brain. And this can tell us many things about Isaac's brain functioning. There should be a lot of alpha wave in the back of the brain where this red is showing up, so that's good. And that's, that's a typical normal brain in a relaxed state. And then we can use this picture to see the, the functions of the electrical circuitry, circuitry throughout the brain and make decisions about how to focus the training to give Isaac the best experience in terms of focusing on school or sports or sleeping well, relaxing well, uh, many different ways to use the information from this uh, brain map. And that's how the brain assessment works.